Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be uh, working in my daily shop. I'm going to be working on this 2016 Chevy Express. Uh, it's a van, three quarter ton. Needs a brake job. Um, originally, thought it was the front brakes, so went ahead and ordered the uh, front brakes and rotors, the uh, pads and rotors. Turns out, it's the rear, so we got to check with Napa, see if they got them in stock. Hopefully they do. First thing we need to do is measure the um, brake rotor, the the top hat part, the you know the part where the not where the pad rides, but the other part. See how you know big it is because they make two different ones for these vans. So we're going to get her up in the air and uh, get them off, and we'll uh, get them measured and get them ordered. Hopefully. All right, y'all. Got the uh, tire and everything off, and. Uh, this is definitely the side that is making the noise. You got see that rust there? We're going to have to check these slides and caliper to make sure that uh, that caliper is not seized up. These slides aren't because it's not retracting, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Um, get this. Uh, I got to pull these bolts out. We got to measure here to see. Uh, what size it is to get the uh, right rotor so I'm gonna set the camera up and we'll get this uh, pulled apart all right y'all try to get you guys a decent angle to see what I'm doing um, we're gonna try to push this caliper back over and uh, so oh yeah the caliper's free I can feel that there definitely isn't They're sliding and they're moving, so all right. Get a little bit more on that. All right. Yeah. There ain't a, hopefully there's some pad left in there. So next thing I want to do is pull these caliper slide bolts out, and uh, we'll uh, uh, get the caliper up and out of the way. So give me a second, grab some tools, and. Uh, We'll uh, get that out of there. All right, y'all. 16 millimeter. That one broke loose and almost out. your ratchet stuck in between the spring here and the uh, slide bolt trust me ask me how I know I do have a handy dandy wrench here Top one out. And there is some there is some slide left on that. So there's some that's a slide pad. Alright, there's that one out. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna troll the uh, trolls. Uh, I'm not gonna let it hang by the uh, brake hose. We are gonna lay it, lay it up there. Woo! Shija. Yeah, there, there wasn't much left of that pad. Yeah, she. Uh, Eh. 
Yeah, baby. Got the money's worth out of that one, so. Yeah, and this, this side here is pretty thin too, so. Not down to metal to metal, but she did, uh, did get her money's worth out of it, so. All right, next thing we got to do, pull these big suckers out of here and uh, take the mount off. Caliper mount. Uh, some of you may say, well, you could have just pulled the caliper mount. I like to make sure that these slide pins are nice and free, which these ones are, I mean, they're free. Top one, yep, there we go. You know, they might have gotten a little warm, but we'll take them all apart, clean them. Plus, I want to clean where the brake pads go in, and you can't do it with the caliper in there. So, yep, get that thing taken off. Um, I'm not going to video that, but, uh, yeah, get that off and we'll get this rotor off here. All right, y'all. I said I wasn't going to video it, but um, I'm going to. It does take an 18 millimeter socket, a breaker bar, and a cheater pipe. So. Give it a couple turns. doing a couple of turns we should be able to get these suckers out of here with a wrench yes a ratchet wrench would be a lot quicker but I didn't feel like getting one out today this one was handy Somebody's been in here, and it wasn't me. They put never sees on these. Never, never sees these. Never, never. Always Loctite them. I use the blue, but uh, I can tell that the, because it, they are hard to get out here. So, but that never sees, actually turns hard, has turned hard, and, uh, you know, this ain't a bolt that you want to take a chance of it backing out. These things back out, bad things happen, especially on the, well, it doesn't matter, front, rear, uh, yeah, yep, never sees on that one too. Never fear, we'll get them cleaned off and uh, get the uh, proper stuff put on them. So, but there's that. Come right out of there. Awesome. We'll get this over on the bench, get it cleaned up. But now we can get our rotor off here, get some measurements, and get the right ones ordered. So, um, I'm going to work on that. We'll bring you guys back after we get her off. All right, y'all. Uh, so that's gonna bring you back after I got that rotor off, but um, this is kind of interesting, I guess, or should be known. These have internal e-brakes. It's like a uh, like the old uh, drum brake system. Uh, there is an adjuster back in this hole down here at the bottom of the little rubber plug. You got to get a tool in there, and uh, sometimes you got to get them in there and get it backed off, and you have to flick the rotating wheel upward on this side to uh, back that pad off. I'm just gotta keep uh, working it. A few times. And oh, she's still stuck on there. self-adjusting so 
we'll adjust them up a little bit. Okay, she's in there all the way. Let's see if we can uh, get her. Uh... Oh, yeah, she's wiggling off there. Ta da! She's off. So, all right, I'm going to take her over to the workbench and uh, we'll uh, show you how to measure and show you what we need to know. All right, y'all. Uh, when they want to know how tall your brake rotor is, they're wanting to know from the back side here to the face of here. And on ours, the options are 80, yeah, 86 millimeters or 91 millimeter. And we happen to have this is 87 and a half. 87.51 we're going to call it 86 um, there might be a little rust or whatever on there maybe not a perfectly flat surface but it definitely ain't 91 you know because uh 91 i'm gonna set my caliper here to 91 go the right way dummy okay we have uh, 91 Roughly, yeah, and if you guys can see that gap in there, but yeah, there's a good gap, so we need the 86s, so, all right, we're going to call the guys at Napa and uh, find out, uh, hopefully they have a couple of these in stock, so I'm going to do that, and uh, when we get the results, we'll bring you all back. All right, y'all, passenger side here. Uh, the rotor is actually rusted to the to the uh, axle and uh, so I had to get my puller out I didn't have to put a tool on it or an impact or anything on it uh, just a small wrench and work it off but yeah just get the rust broke loose so a little uh, you know that's what we had to do so all right now well, I'm gonna finish pulling this part and uh, Waiting for Napa to deliver the uh, deliver the right parts. They actually delivered a set of pads and rotors, but the rotors they delivered were nowhere near the right ones. Looked like they're for like some kind of car or something. So, all right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, y'all, we're gonna reset these brake calipers. I've got my tool all set up here. Kind of looks like a caulk gun, but uh, yeah, you just uh, squeeze the handle. A little lever there pushes in pushes the calipers back in now these are push in style they've got all different styles you know twists in and you know all kinds of stuff so um, make sure you do the do the right method um, I do have a couple break the old brake pads in there just to take up space so um, I can't do this one-handed and so I'm gonna get them squeezed back in and uh, we'll move on to the next all right y'all got this caliper mount all hooked up in my vise here and what you're going to want to do pop these these little stainless steel slides for the brake pad pop them out both sides top bottom all that and then next thing you want to make sure your caliper slides are working good a little rubber boot and I usually pull them off like that this is hard one-handed and this one's a little dry I can feel it coming out there we go oh yeah she's dry she got a little rust in her so um, we're gonna shoot some brake clean up in there kind of sand these up a little bit these pins up and uh, we'll re-grease them so let me uh, do that up and we'll bring you guys back all right y'all uh i got this and of course you guys can't see that side but got the first one all cleaned up and done we're going to do the second one uh all right well i could clean the pin up i uh, using a little bit of permatex brake parts lubricant i like the purple stuff um you use what you want whatever your manufacturer recommends 
a particular vehicle you're working on. I'm not trying to get any negative comments or anything, but I've been using this stuff for 20 something years. Of course, with the grease I put in there, you got to kind of push and rotate, and, you know, because it's gonna it's gonna create an air pocket in there. Actually, makes a really nice seal. Just keep pushing her in and out until. Okay, you want to take a little bit of that grease, put it up here around the top part of the. pin like so you want to do the around the base where that rubber boot goes because we're going to try to make you want to make a seal where this boot goes on so slide that up on slide that up on make sure she pops up on the mount and on the pin there we go easy peasy so all right, I'll show you what to, what to do next. All right, y'all. Next thing, you know, after we got these pins put in, is right here where these where your brake pads slide, where those little stainless steel these little stainless steel jobbers go in. Um, I take a wire brush to them first to get any you know flaky rust or anything off. Well, then I use a you know this is a file specifically designed to do these. See, it has a little scraper there on the end. You can get in there and scrape any rust and stuff off. You're not trying to take material off. You're just trying to clean it up, get it back down to factory height. And what you're doing there is making sure that there's room for the end of your pads to go down in here. Because on real bad ones, they'll get rust in there. That's called rust jacking. It pushes up and it'll lock your pad in place. And that can lock your caliper and make you, you know, wear your pads and stuff out. You want your pads to be able to move back and forth in there nice and easy. So, yep, I'm going to use that. And uh, these aren't really bad. Um, you, I could probably just get away with a wire wheel and a wire brush. But I am going to go over them real quick with a file and uh, get them cleaned up. And then uh, we'll, when we get the rest of the parts, we'll get it put back together. All right, y'all. I got those cleaned up really nice and wanted to say one other thing before you put your stainless steel slides in there put a nice little thin coat of grease down in there that'll help protect the uh, surface whoop, the surface from uh, rusting and elim well not eliminating but less chance of the rust jacking occurring so yeah put your nice little thin coat of grease like that in there and uh, make sure it's grease for brake parts, not just wheel bearing grease or anything like that because you want it to stick. You don't want it to get hot and, you know, leak out of there. So, all right, um, waiting on parts. So we will uh, we'll, uh, continue on when we get some parts. All right, y'all, getting ready to put these pads in the uh, caliper mounts. Um, I like to use this stuff here. Um, it's basically a, a glue. Comes out kind of thick sometimes, but just spray the back of your pads down with it. There we go. I put a general heaping helping on there. And what that does is it kind of it'll tack up and get kind of sticky and it'll stick your pad to your caliper and the uh, the uh, other end of your caliper there so you don't get that squeak um, if you notice you sometimes you get a little squeak uh, when you hit the brake pad or brake pedal 90% um, of the time it's rust or whatever getting in here these do have the anti squeak um, uh, pad things on in the back of them but I still find that he'll get some rust or something in there and eventually they will squeak so um, that's just one way to kind of help eliminate that so I'll probably come back and 
do these ones over here again a little nice little coat like I said I like the too much is never enough so oh and okay. before anybody puts it in the comments yes you can use the uh, brake parts grease on here that works too um, I just like this stuff better um, it just yeah I just I like it better all right y'all after about a uh, hour hour and a half delay we got some right parts um, so we're gonna throw this thing together and uh, see if we can't uh, get on with our day all right y'all after uh, a little wait uh, got the new rotors the right rotors uh, big big thank you to Napa uh, they actually ran to another store specifically and picked them up and brought them to me um, any other time for anybody else they would probably just uh, said uh, we can have a Monday uh, but they treat me very well a big shout out to Napa Auto Parts in Lyons Ohio they're awesome all right y'all finally got the right rotors so we're gonna go ahead and assemble these back together got my bolts got some uh, Loctite on them blue Loctite to be exact I said you can you can use whatever you want to use myself I use the red or the blue I still didn't grab a ratchet wrench so All right, I'm going to shut the camera off, tighten these up, and we'll bring you guys all right, back. All got those bolts all tightened up and torqued up. The uh, torque spec on them is the German torque, good and tight. So, yeah, next thing we got to do, put our little slide guards in here. And uh, these do have an anti-rust coating on them. You probably can't see it, but uh, it is a anti-rust. These things won't rust, but they're also stainless steel. But these, you know, the bracket itself will rust, so that's why I put the grease on it. So let's get them snapped down in. Yeah. All right, they're in there. Grab our pads. That was the Loctite we uh, we just uh, dropped. Get that in there. That pad slides in there nice and easy. Draw the pad. Make sure you put the pad material towards the rotor. Don't uh, don't do it backwards and you know get the steel in there. I, you guys laugh. I have seen it done. So okay. There's that, there's that. Get our uh, caliper here. There. All right, I don't have the caliper pushed back in quite far enough. So uh, I'm gonna grab my tool, push that thing back in. Um, after sitting for a while, it must have drifted out just a hair, so. Let me uh, grab that, we'll put it in, and we'll get this installed. All right, y'all. I figured out what it was. When I pushed the other side in, a little bit of the pressure come over here and uh, kind of push, the, uh, push these pistons out. So, not a big deal. Okay, that one started. Come on. All right. I need to be where you guys are at so I can get this on here. So, all right, y'all. I figured out what it was. Um, it wasn't the caliper that was 
drifting out. I had the pads on wrong. The uh, squealer goes at the top. Um, there's a couple rivets on the back side of the one pad that have to go on the outside. The other side, um, it slides in. So, but on. So, all right. Now, I'm going to finish tightening these bolts up and then we'll move on to the other side. All right, y'all. Uh, got this side all together. No big deal. Um, when you're putting these caliper slide, the bolts in on these pins, there's flats and notches right there. Make sure you get that flat back in that notch. You can, they can turn and you get out here and your bolt won't tighten up and uh, yeah, it causes all kinds of problems. So just a little thing to look out for. So, all right, let's move to the other side. Hey y'all, uh, just a little reminder. Anytime you do brake work on your vehicle, doesn't matter what vehicle it is, replace the pads, rotors, just the pads, you know, whatever. Uh, before you put it in gear, start it up and pump your brake pedal nice and slow three or four or five times to get them everything seated back out against the uh, rotors and stuff and get everything back where it was um, because if you don't uh, even though you put your foot on the brake and you drop it in gear you may go for a ride so just a little friendly reminder tip from the bear all right y'all we got the back tires back on it's down on the ground got the brake job done um, this took about twice as long as what it probably should have um, just because we had to wait on parts and stuff, but uh, That's easy. It's an easy job um, You can actually do it in your driveway, you know on jack stands and stuff um, It's not real bad. So uh, That's all I got for you today um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the thumbs up button If you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button or ring the bell get all the notifications of everything We do here in this garage the home shop out the tractor pulls and uh, even in the kitchen. So love y'all and uh as always, keep wrenching, keep pulling, do all that stuff. Talk to y'all later.